Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Harry Hewlett. This is the Dallas Songwriters Association. This is our virtual global songwriter showcase. We do this every, every Saturday from 12 to 2 noon central time, central daylight time right now. We've got, uh, got four acts lined up today, four 30-minute sets. We're going to start off with T.K. Brown and then uh, Rio King. And then uh, Eric Ramsey was supposed to play today, and he had to back out right at the last minute, some kind of emergency. And uh, yours truly is going to set in for him, so I pity you for that, but that's the way we're going to do it. I'll do the best I can. And then at one third, we've got Stephen Happ. So, with no further ado, let me bring this young lady up here. I'm going to add the spotlight. Our first act. First act for the day is tk brown from gun barrel city texas she's been on this show several times she's one of our rising um, stars this first song i'm gonna do is a song called make it count it's basically about um if you found out you only had so long to live would you do what it takes to make it count and make every second worth it and uh go something like this <laughs> Would you take the trip that you've been putting off? Or buy that boat regardless of the cost? Would you offer up forgiveness for the grudge that you've been holding? Would you roll the dice and keep on rolling? Would you go running wild through fields of gold? Or tell the secret lock inside your soul? You found out the day was all you had. Would you curse the stars?
Beautiful. I started writing. I was about, I want to say, eleven, ten to eleven years old, and um, started going up and finding more and more people to help me get started on my writing adventure, and just soaking up all the greatness or being around all these amazing writers and learning how to make my own process and do my own thing and um this is a song i wrote with a good friend of mine up in nashville when i was 14 it's called just say stay out in the driveway in my hand East Texas rain pouring down I sure never saw this as part of the plan but now I feel time's running out so tell me what I need to do to say excited about um i wrote this one re well sort of recently um but this is one that i'm ready to get recorded here soon and um release but i wrote this about a guy i was with 
I had um, started going off to Nashville every other two weeks and uh, staying for two weeks. And he had told me I was going to leave him for Tennessee. And uh, so I wrote this song to uh, reassure him that my heart will always belong in Texas. And uh, it ended, but you know, statement's still true. My heart will always be true to Texas. On top of the world Chasing our own dreams It's all rolled out Say so you'll never leave But these songs keep on calling me to Tennessee And if you're wondering if this might be That's a great song. Thank you. Alrighty, I'm going to do a little song I wrote about my hometown. Um, it's called Gun Barrel City, and with a name like that, you got to give a little backstory. And um, 
our main strip by our Walmart used to be famous for shootouts. And uh, funny story is Bonnie and Clyde actually came through Gun Barrel City at one point and uh, got locked up in a little jail right across town in Kent, Texas. And that uh, jail is still there and you can go look in it and see where they were held. But um, this is called Gun Barrel City. city could a young singer songwriter come from than Gun Barrel City, Texas. <laughs> and you didn't have to make that up, that's real. Oh, I didn't that's the best part about it. Yeah. All the way down to Willie on the liquor store. That's really on our main strip. We got a liquor store with Willie on the side that says Willie for president. All right. I'll vote for him. <laughs> All right, this one's called Rodeo Queen. And uh, this is probably by far one of my favorite originals. I say they all ran away. They weren't born or made to stay. Like trying to love a Mustang that wants to run. And who I knew I was twisted in barbed wire wrapped in a bed. 
Seems like you just got started. All right, this last song I'm going to do is a song about a guitar that was given to me by my grandmother. It's called Grandpa's Old Guitar. Back of Granny B's closet, beating a poor case with dust all on it. She told me it was his best friend. He left this world on God's grace. She handed it to me, smiling full of faith that the hard music would never end. Said I was just a like him. Battered and worn, twenty years of them, little rust on the worn down strings. But I can feel his arms around me every time that I may sing. And I never met the man who made me who I am, but I know I'll go. Nothing to make 
I finally played on the opera stage I'll look out and see his face Better to mourn for years of him It'll rust in the worn down strings But I can feel his arms around me Every time that I may sing And I never Grandpa's old guitar That was a wonderful set. And do, do you still have your grandpa's guitar? I do actually, and it's right here with me today. This would be it. That's a good look. That's a Martin, right? Uh, no, it's uh, I think it's an Aria. But uh, the funny thing about it was, it was a twelve string, and it has all the twelve knobs. But he turned it into a six string. Oh, that's unique. Okay, I bet yeah. it sounds good. You ought to, you ought to do a set with it someday. Uh, we're refurbishing it and getting it back in good condition then i'm gonna start playing it around oh that's great that's great i can't wait to have you on here when you do it playing that okay folks that was tk brown and what a name is tk brown and then from Glenboro city i mean you're bound to be a hit you're gonna be able to be a hit someday folks so just remember that tk brown from Glenboro city future Thank star you. from from dallas texas okay and i'm gonna i'm gonna give the spotlight to our next act here it's uh rio king hey rio hey harry wasn't and she something boy that tk is great yeah i love <laughs> i love her her texas lyrics oh yeah yeah she's gonna she's gonna do yeah. it well folks uh rio he's from originally from wichita falls and now he lives in dallas and he and our old buddies all the way back to texas tech a long time ago we're not gonna tell you how many years ago that was so <laughs> So he, but he's a Dallas songwriter member and writing songs, and he's a songwriter of the year. What two years in a row, something like that? Yeah, a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, what you got for us today? You got thirty minutes. Okay. Some of the old, some of my old standard stuff here, but uh, okay. I wanted, I wanted to pat the DSA on the back because uh, uh, finding young artists like like TK there, that's uh, we sure need talent like that. I anyway, agree. Dallas songwriters. Um, this is the uh, first one, song I'm going to do here is called Last Chance to Dance in Texas. Uh, if you've watched the show here, sometimes you've heard me do it. It's about, uh, well, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go with it right now. Rambling around on the back roads Out on the Texas state line Drove up on a weathered old beer joint With a faded hand-painted sign 
that red last chance to dance in Texas. Hear the fiddler play the band air waltz. See the big record star playing guitar, singing of love won and lost. Don't miss his solid gold record. Hanging right there on the wall at the last chance to dance in Texas. At the last chance dance hall. I stepped in the dim empty bar room and asked the old man for a beer. I said, if you don't mind me asking, tell me how did you wind up out here? He said, last dance we played in Texas. My wife sang me, I've had it waltz. Said, take your guitar, you big record star, you booze and your fame and get lost. I begged her, forgive my poor record. She said, it's a borderline call, it's your last chance dance in Texas. At the last chance dance hall. So, 20 odd years in the bottle. They died in this parking lot We stayed and we played Till we paid for the place And now it's all that we've got It's our last chance dance in Texas Where my wife fiddles Bandera waltz And the son, big record star Plays a red-hot guitar And the daughter-in-law is the boss Somewhere there's a tarnished gold record I think it's in the last women's stall At the last chance to dance in Texas At the last chance dance hall So truck it on out to the state line And order up a Lone Star beer Ask the first pretty lady would you dance with a cowboy, my dear? It's the last chance to dance in Texas. Hear the fiddler play the band there a waltz. See the young record star playing guitar. Two step till your troubles get lost. In a booth in the back, the old couple. They smile every time they recall. Their last chance dance in Texas At the last chance dance hall It's the last chance to dance in Texas At the last chance dance hall Yeah, last chance to dance in Texas You sound good! Thanks, Harry, thanks. This, uh... This next song is a tribute to uh, to the veterans and to a special friend of mine that we lost a couple of months ago. Uh, he used to have this old Corvette up on blocks in the yard. He was wanting to rebuild it one day and never got around to it. Um, this this song is called the Old Wrecked Vet. Bed down the road a bit was pretty torn up by the looks of it. Did what he could on disability pay, got a few new parts every trip to VA. When the boys went drinking at the veteran's lodge, the old wreck vet was sitting in the garage. That fateful day when the road ran red and the fire raged heavy and hot. Restoring that vet will be a job, they said, and it's gonna take a hell of a lot. Now that old vet's got a... <laughs> that old vet started beating the odds, got a cranium plate and titanium rods. High tech joints and the valves are new 
There ain't a whole lot that old vet can't do When the body work was all said and done That American muscle was ready to run It was the damnedest thing on the 4th of July I heard the roar of that 504 The full color guard had just marched by When the vet rolled out of the door Brand new life with a new set of rings and a newly wed wife. Sunny days they open up the garage and they cruise on down to the veterans' lodge. Drop the top and open up the hood. They got the finest ride in the neighborhood. Young and old that he ain't met, you tell them they appreciate that old vet. Every chance you get and Tell them you appreciate That old vet Tell them you appreciate That old vet Yeah Alright uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you folks <laughs> This next song is uh, Tells a story about a tornado That hit Lubbock in uh, 1970, May 11th of 1970. Uh, the date coincides to the date of the Waco tornado that hit in 1953. And the stories are so, so similar, it's eerie. I was down at Waco on a radio talk show with uh, KB, KWBU in uh, Waco. And there, there, tornado was exactly the same as Lubbock. It came right through town, only theirs was devastating in 1953. 20, uh, they had oh, just scores of people that were killed. The Lubbock tornado had 29, but they had a building downtown that was an insurance building, 22 stories. Lubbock had a 20-story insurance building called the Great Plains Life, and that tornado came right into town, hit that building, and it twisted the building and it stayed it didn't fall and and it stayed empty for 10 years or so and it's occupied today you can go downtown lubbock when you're when you're on your tourist trip to lubbock and see look up on the stand on the sidewalk and look up the building and see that the building's twisted all, uh, all the way up to the top this is this, this is a tribute to the folks that uh, that live out there on the great plains and uh, the rugged life they live it's called Big Winds on the Cap Rock, and it's subtitled The Great Plains Life. Yep. Pardon me while I get the capo. And um, they just had their 51st anniversary this last year. I wrote this song for their 50th anniversary, and uh, COVID kind of wrecked that one. But... Uh, this is Big Winds on the Cap Rock. Big winds on the Cap Rock, deadly as stories tell. The winter they howl from Manitoba, summer they rise from hell. The 11th day in the month of May, it was 1970 when. Lubbock town was closing down and a killer came roaring in. The night turned green and evil then exploded in the black. Hammer and hail rained like a hurricane lit by lightning cracks. It ripped into the city and it gutted like a buffalo knife. Plunged into the heart without pity. Then twisted it that night When it tore into the great plains light Great plains light building Twenty stories tall The backbone of the panhandle Did it fall? Did it fall? We couldn't tell what had happened The 
until the light of dawn. Guadalupe neighborhood flattened and the country club homes were gone. But one lone landmark was the only one we could see. Rising twisted from the ground, destruction and debris. Tougher than Coronado, stronger than a buffalo knife. Standing tall on the land of Estacado, it was the Great Plains Alive. It's a hard scrabble in life, but that's the great flames life. Big winds on the Capra, deadly as stories tell. Yeah, I was out there for that one and uh, touched down about six, six blocks away. Where'd you live out there? I lived, at that time, we were living on 38th Street, uh, and the uh, tornado approached from that direction and passed passed just south of us and touched down uh, somewhere near uh, the corner of 4th and um, uh, uh, before it got to 4th Street. It, it, tore a path right you know right straight through town over there and then it veered off to the northwest and and out there where the airport is now anyway that must have been scary well uh, it was it, it was scary i was watching the trees bend over and power lines popping we lost power and everything and and uh, but we got a phone call through we were, happened to accidentally be online with my in-laws in california so when that when communication was out for days they knew that we were okay that's yeah we were lucky i, I remember one story i was reading about says there were like two families in two different cars and one stopped at the red light and one ran the red light the one that stopped at the red light the tornado got him oh, oh. and the one that one that one that ran the red light they got away from it but sure. one car stopped you that's know that's fate right there you, you know you know um who uh, jimmy dale gilmore is yes uh, Jimmy Dale, he he wasn't in town at that time, but his sister was downtown at the at the theater with on a date, and it, oh and it just you know it just cremated. The theater was right across from the Great Plains Life Building. Yeah, and uh, she and her date walked out uh, walked out of the building, and there was just devastation everywhere. And they walked. She had lost her shoe. And they, they walked through broken glass, the, everything, all the glass was broken everywhere, and they walked through broken glass out till they could find some perimeter where somebody could give them a ride out of that area. They, uh, and it was blocks that had to, that had to, to go across before they found anybody There's even a vehicle or a person that could help them out. She had quite a story. Yeah, Jimmy Dale Gilmore, he's one of the Flatlanders. That's right, one of the Flatlanders with Joe Ely and yeah. Butch Hancock. Butch Hancock, they were, yeah. They were kids at the time, and, uh, and you know, um, uh, who's, who's the, uh, oh, the, another guy that is, we, we know, the Dixie Chicks' father. Um, Lloyd Maines, yeah, Lloyd. Yeah. I talked to Lloyd about it, but he, he was out at Buffalo Lakes at the time, so the tornado didn't get to him. Hmm. Well, anyway, interesting stuff. Go ahead. You got still got time. All right, all right. Uh, this one is is a this one's one of my favorites. It's uh, uh, about the multi generational families that that uh, a lot of us have right now. And it's called that window closes fast. That window closes way too fast Opens opportunity and then it's past Be grateful for the moment Enjoy it while it lasts 
fast Cause that window closes fast A tickle on the chin Got a sweet baby laugh I still grin at that old photograph How long has it been now? A decade and a half For that window closes fast Seventeen and think they're grown Eager for the great unknown They leave you here alone That window closes way too fast Opens for the children So before it's past Be grateful for the moment Enjoy it while it lasts Cause that window closes fast my voice cracked a little, she cried when I asked. We found each other late and a love that lasts. But sometimes life kicks your dreams on past, and that window closes fast. Doctor, we've got hills to climb and roads to ride and trails to find. Don't cut short our time. That window closes way too fast Opens for the lovers so before it's past Be grateful for the moment Enjoy it while it lasts Cause that window closes fast Grateful for the moment Enjoy it while it lasts Cause that window closes fast my voice, oops, that window closes way too fast. Grandma's eyes are cloudy like memories of her past. Her feet can catch the rhythm, and she ain't danced her last. But that window's closing fast. Dizzy, Dorsey, Duke, and Glenn, Bob Will's joining in. They swing her back. Again, but that window's closing way too fast. Opens for a heartbeat, so before it's past, be grateful for the moment. Enjoy it while it lasts, cause that window closes fast. Grateful for the moment, enjoy it while it lasts, cause that window. Closes fast, folks. Be grateful. Yep. Thank you, Harry. Thank don't you, thank don't you. wish your life away. That's what my mom always told me. She said, don't wish your life away. Yeah. Oh, oh, I like that. Yeah. Write that one, Harry. Have to write that one, yeah. 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 This next one, my wife helped. It's another favorite of mine because my wife, Melinda... Help me write this one. It's, and uh, it's called I Never Cried. It's, a, it's the lead off song of my, of my last CD, my most recent CD. I Never Cried. I never cried for a woman that was still alive. When you left it tore me up inside I was telling myself You just ain't right But I lied Cause I never cried for a woman like I am tonight Just another woman like the ones before So whose heart is that Bleeding on the floor well, it dawned on me long about midnight And some ain't right Cause I never cried for a woman like I am tonight Man, don't cry, it ain't my way You just lock it on up and wait for the light of day Alive. You 
made me look for a better man inside. I'm telling my friends, I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna try. For the love of that woman, I'm crying for tonight. I never cried for a woman that was still alive. But when you left, it tore me up inside. For a woman like I am tonight No, I never cried For a woman like I am tonight Hope you're missing this fool of a man tonight Yep, yeah, I never cried Not once <laughs> uh, Okay, got time for Got one more one more? Yeah, one more long one. You can do two short ones, you know. Two short ones or one long one? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll do uh, All right. Two short ones. Okay. This one is this one's my last song I'll play this summer because it's a summer song, and it's one of my favorites. It's called Turtle Bait. Turtle bait on the July River I'm just turtle bait Call me up and I deliver There ain't no snapper that'll hesitate To get a little nibble of my turtle bait Simmering in that summer sun Lying, frying, till I'm done Turn me over like a tater cake Serve on an inner tube and that's what makes Turtle bait on the July River I'm Turtle bait, call me up and I deliver. There ain't no snapper that'll hesitate to get a little nibble of my turtle bait. All the night says that the mood is right. Nobody's catching us fishing at night. I got an inner tube built for two. You make the sandwiches and I'll make you turtle bait on the July River. I'm just turtle bait, call me up and I deliver. There ain't no snapper that'll hesitate to get a little nibble of my turtle bait. Yeah, that's a quick little turtle bait tubing song down the river. And I want to close right here quickly with my one of my favorite songs. It's uh, the title of my first CD album called I'd Love to See Texas Again. Before daylight on a middle night on a red eye flight 49 Laying half asleep with my feet on the seat and my woman on my mind I heard Bob Wills doing faded love and I got a knot in my throat And the longer he played the stronger it stayed and on the back of my ticket I wrote Never really know till you're gone a while how a part of your heart stays home. There's a piece of me missing that sunset kiss in the Austin Capitol Dome. How long to be where again I can see a Texan dip of Stetson and grin? I like the style of a howdy and a smile. I'd love to see Texas again. Big city women have sophisticated charm and they all have a mind of their own. And they go out at night with a man on their arm like a setting for a precious stone. People that are rude, fast talking dudes, and you gotta win to save your skin. You just say you all in that panhandle drawl and you're outside looking in. You never really know till you're gone a while now A part of your heart stays home There's a piece of me missing that sunset kiss In the Austin Capitol Dome How long to be where again I can see A Texan give a Stetson and grin 
like the style of a howdy and a smile I'd love to see Texas again I like the style of a howdy and a smile I'd love to see Texas again Yeah, I'd love to see some of that Texas again Thank you, folks. My name's Rio King. Harry, appreciate your MC, man. Always great. Good job, got? Rio. I'd like to introduce. I'd like to introduce one of the craziest guys from West Texas I know. This next entertainer is world famous, all the way to South Africa. This is our leader and MC tonight, Harry Hewlett. Take it away, Harry. Well, thank you, Rio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, let me see. Let me replace the spotlight. Here we go. There, there comes a time in every host life when someone can't make it and, and he gets to play. <laughs> so here I am. And before I do anything, I want everyone to look at this background I got. Now, this isn't a green screen. This is a real background. My little sister, she spent, I don't know, a month or so sewing this thing together for me. And it, it's a it's a quilt. It's a real quilt, like made out of cotton and stuff, and you can sleep under it and wash it in the washing machine and everything, but I'm going to take a picture of it so you can get a better close-up and, and use it on my green screen, but all those little little figures that you can see in one of the squares there, those those are like notes and staffs and uh, uh, clefts, you know, treble clefts and bass clefts and all that kind of stuff. It's it's a music-oriented thing, so... Anyway, that's that's what I'm doing today. I'm, I'll have to give her this video so she can see how much I appreciate what she did. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna play for you. I got 30 minutes. Eric Ram Eric Ramsey was supposed to play today, and uh, some family thing came up, and he asked me if I would take his place, and I said sure. So here we are. Here we are. What am I supposed to? Do? I'm supposed to entertain you, I guess. Here we go. Do it like this. Ah. <laughs> Three times each minute, all day long, howling at the moon. You're so doggone sexy, <laughs> what can I do? I love the way you giggle, whimper on the phone, alpo in my taco, fetch your body home. I'm gonna love on you. Oh, 
sweetheart (laughs) anyway now Rio had that song about Lubbock I got a song about Lubbock I'm gonna play it yeah it's kind of an old uh, folk song you know one one thing about about being from Lubbock there's a lot of things you can write about (laughs) that makes for a good little country (laughs) song anyway it goes like this it's called Old Lubbock Lover Number Two. I had an Old Lubbock Lover Number One. It's a funny song. It's Old Lubbock Lover Number Two. This is kind of a folk song about being from Lubbock. <laughs> played that better than that folks sometimes but that's where it is I guess okay give me a soft pick (laughs) 
This is kind of a little, little area related song. Kind of, kind of takes me to, you know, Clovis, New Mexico. It's called Watering Hole. There's watering holes all over that country out there. That's usually what they call a bar in these little old towns. They call them watering holes. Well, here's one right here. Tone it down just a little bit. This would be in Albuquerque. He was the salesman, had a company car covered all of New Mexico. He could make a cold call on the devil himself with every little rule of the road. But it's a downer when you're an out of towner, gotta spend a lot of nights alone. On the evening in question, 
you seen the smooth breast in that town for turkey green and gold. He was staying at the Holiday Inn, sleeping at the Holiday Inn. Never had a hesitation when he made his reservation, no surprising at the Holiday Inn. He was staying at the Holiday Inn, eating at the Holiday Inn. Even took a down and outer, though the traffic it was louder, it is safer at the Holiday Inn. She was a brave little honey, saved her money, she was taking a trip on her own. But she heard a lot of stories from her girlfriend Lori about the traveling men she had known. So she took a can of mace when she checked into the place she had guaranteed a month ago. Feeling a little nervous, called room service, afraid to venture out in the cold. When she made her reservation, no surprise at the Holiday Inn. She was staying at the Holiday Inn, eating at the Holiday Inn. Even took a down and outer, though the traffic it was louder, it is safer at the Holiday Inn. things were, the two of them would ever meet, but room 102 and room 103 had the little door there in between, she got up to get a drink, couldn't find the sink, then she opened up the wrong dang door, ha! when she quit yelling, he commenced to sell it, I ain't gonna eat until it you more. Stay at the Holiday Inn. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, well, as long as we're doing Holiday uh, Inn type songs, let's see here. Maybe we can do this one. I mean, what key I do this? Okay, well, you do it like this. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Good. Okay. This was a, this wasn't a Holiday Inn. This was a Howard Johnson's West in Amarillo. There's a bar up here called the Sapango. And for a while, it was one of the top ten bars in Texas. I mean, for several years there, maybe decades. I don't think it's there anymore. It's a true story. It starts off that way, and then I start embellishing just a little bit. But it's called World Class Dirty Old Man. When I wrote it, I was just a young man. Everybody said, you're not old enough to be a dirty old man. Well, now I are, so I can sing this song with conviction. <laughs> Goes like this. Well, I was sitting in this bar. I saw this old codger putting a move on a lady less than half his age. When she walked away, I said, Grandpa, isn't she a little too young for you? Well, he looked at me and grinned and then he said, <laughs> the older I get, the younger I need them, the broker I get, the richer I treat them, the slower I get, the harder I chase them, I'm a world-class dirty old man. If I see a gal, I think it's real pretty, I make my move, I get bold and flirty, if I strike out, I go ugly early, I'm a world-class dirty old man.
said if it gets late, the bar ain't hopping. And the only gal there's a lady that's mopping. Heck, I ain't proud. It's too late for shopping. I'm a world class dirty old man. And if the day should come, my parts quit working and I can't make love out at hurting. I'm grin and bear it. Keep on flirting. I'm a world class dirty old man. So young ladies, don't get too close. I might grab you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, anyway, as long as I got this harmonica on, I might, might, might as well do songs that's got a harmonica in it, reckon. And in the key of A. Or a key of E. I play cross harp. Okay. I know now, folks, we got a really good musician coming up following me. It's Stephen Tram. He's just sitting there chomping at the bits with me, and he said, He's gonna get. He's got. A, he's got a new guitar. It's not actually it's not a guitar. It's, it's a uh, something else. A, a uh, what you call them? But anyway, it's a lap lap. It's like a Hawaiian lap steel guitar. Well, way back when, in in, in Kansas City, the uh, you know, according Missouri is just right. It's part of Kansas City, Missouri, and that's where that's where the, the Jesse James is buried. But there was a lot of a lot of controversy about where Jerry, Jesse James was buried because when they shot him up there in, in Corny, which is, I mean, in uh, St. Joe, which is about you know, 50 miles away, 40 miles away, something like that, they thought maybe they'd kill someone else and he got away, you know. And then every state in the Union, uh, Jesse James started popping up. And, and as the legend grew, every kid who grew up for a century later, when he played Cowboys and Indians, he, he, he wanted to be Jesse James, and his grandpa had told him stories about how he might be related to Jesse James and all that stuff. And then finally, the family, they made a big mistake. They got some forensic labs and all that stuff together at universities, and they dug up Jesse's grave and found a tooth and did a DNA study and proved beyond a shadow of a doubt the real Jesse James is buried in Kansas City, Missouri. And Kearney, Missouri is the town. And, and uh Anyway, but one thing they did discover that, a, a car, true to the legend, he was buried upside down because when they carried him, the casket and everything down from St. Joe, they dug him up, you know, and carried him down to Corny, and, and the, the wagon, the casket fell out of the wagon and, and rolled around a little bit, and he was upside down. Been upside down for over a century. <laughs> anyway, so much for that. Jesse James goes like this. Jesse James changed his name. He was buried in Texas. And we're distant cousins. I once heard my grandpa say, With boyish pride, I told my friends how Jesse's blood runs through my veins. Now those show me folks say, Harry, there ain't no way. Dug him up for sure. There can't be no denying. 
tonight His DNA ain't lying I can't digest it anymore Now, some things are best left undiscovered Like buried treasure And like proof there ain't no God Like Pluto ain't no planet And like why Michael looks like Janet And why that cute when I knock that I ain't keen to Jesse anymore We've lost another hero He's walking out the door Can't blame those folks for trying Or fools like me for crying I ain't keen to Jesse One chance in a million I could be right Even if I'm wrong Let me believe What it is I believe in Let wiser men Live well enough alone I ain't kin to deceive Dig up any more of my grandpa's cousins like Buffalo Bill Cody. Or did he say Truman Capote? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Cause I ain't kin to Jesse any more. Jesse James. Rest in peace. God bless you. He was one of Quantrill's Raiders, I think. That's where he learned to be a bad guy. No, oh, not there. Here you go. Okay, this is the last song right here. I got to do this. This is for Suzanne Mason, John Mason's wife. She had some knee surgery and everything. She always requests this song. And I forgot to do it the other night. And she's watching us and I want to do this song for her. It's called Everclear. It's an anti-drinking song. Sort of. <laughs> Don't get 
get drunk on Everclear. public service announcement thank you very much my name is harry hewlett and i'm gonna get out of here so we can i can get out of the way here and we'll get you get stephen hap up here and he's gonna show you how it's done right here replay spotlight hi stephen how you doing i'm okay it's uh i, I will be playing differently than you for sure well that's a good thing <laughs> That's that's a that's a good thing. Okay, Stephen Happ. Now, what do you call your instrument? It's not a dobro. I keep kind of trying to call it a dobro. It's a Weissenborn. It's a, that's the that's 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 the brand though, right? But that's what you call it. Yeah, it's a Weissenborn style guitar. So it's um. So you just call it a Weissenborn, okay? Yeah, this one was made very recently in Australia. Tell them about the frets. They aren't there. There's no frets. Those are just uh, inlaid pieces of wood. I think it's holly or something. And um, this is a light colored wood. And, the, and overall, the, the guitar is made out of uh, Tasmanian blackwood. Tasmania is an island just south of Australia. Um, so it's made out of Tasmanian blackwood. It's big. It's a, it's a baritone, this one is. And later I'll be playing my old uh, Weissenborn too, the one that like was actually made by Herman Weissenborn back in 1927. And this one was made in 2021. <laughs> um, I, I know you'll never, never, ever do this, but you know what would be what would be cute is uh, if you got a little cartoon Tasmanian Devil, you know, from Looney Tunes or whatever it was, right? And and inlaid it right there, you know, on the surface of the guitar somewhere. <laughs> I don't think I'll do that, but uh, I know you're not gonna do it. I just, yeah, I would probably do it. I, I, it'd ruin the guitar. Yeah, well, I don't know. It wouldn't ruin the sound of it. I think it sounds pretty good. Let's let's see if you can still hear it. But from now on, I'm gonna refer to that guitar. I'm gonna, its nickname is the Tasmanian Devil. That, okay. That's what it is. That's a that's Tasmanian. A, that sounds right, actually. I kind of like that. Okay. Idea. All right. Hear it, okay, Harry? Yeah. Okay, so it's I'm playing with an uh, with an ear trauma lab microphone, which is right over here, and also um, I think it won't stay up, and also um, a pickup. Pickup's a Seymour Duncan mag mic, so it has like a a microphone in it as well as the pickup. But I've got the microphone turned off because I'm using a real microphone. So. Okay. So I'm going to start off just giving you an idea what this thing sounds like. It's uh, it's tuned in open B, which is um, three half steps below open D, which is...
Thank you, thank you. Adoring the family. <laughs> they love you. Those thousands of adoring fans. So this thing, you can actually uh, do. No, I was playing a little bit there.
That's right. Okay, uh, I'm gonna um, change it up just a little bit here. I'm gonna sing a song that uh, my singing partner Solvay wrote the lyrics for this song, but I've gotta uh, unfortunately change the tuning slightly as I am wont to do. So let's see here. F sharp, gotta go up to G sharp. And then this is gonna go up to E. Tuners are gonna make some adjustments on these tuners that are too hard to turn. It's gotta go down. story about leveling. About leveling? <laughs> oh, that's... No, no, no. Tell the one about um, Gary P. Nunn. Oh, Gary P. Nunn. He was from Brownfield. He, he and I went to Texas Tech at the same time there when we were, we were both playing in bands. One day this kid, I hadn't met Gary. I mean, I'd, I'd met him once or twice. This, he comes up and he wants to be in our band. So he played one of these little... Uh, Hoffman or Hoffner basses like Paul McCartney, and he sang. Every, everybody, all those bands back there at Texas Tech, we did rock and roll. There wasn't there wasn't anything country about us. And he, uh, we fired our bass player, which is a good friend of ours because Gary was good. We wanted him to be in our band, and he, I think he played two dances with us and quit and started his own band. And there we were without a bass player. <laughs> he moved. He moved off to uh, moved off to Austin. I think he's going to be a. Uh, chemist uh, i mean a pharmacist or something and then i didn't hear from him about him from like not 10 to 15 more years and finally he was a star you know he wrote that uh, london homesick blues and his band was backing up jerry jeff walker and all kinds of stuff next time i saw him was in new york city at the the lone star cafe uh, but he was he was double billing with uh, ray wiley hubbard Very, very talented guy. So this is a song that um, the lyrics are by my singing partner, sometimes singing partner, Solvay Lindy, that I uh, played with at the Deep Ellum. She wrote the she wrote this poem, and I converted it into a song. And played some. It's in open E. Beneath our feet, just as green, the air from our lungs, just as crisp. You think you want what's in your dream? That painted life is just a myth.
That's uh, that's that's a new one. Actually, she wrote that poem a while ago, but I just uh, figured out how to play it on the on the baritone. I mean, it's it's completely different playing songs on this because I mean everything is like pitched three steps, three half steps lower, and so it's. So you got to pick a different key. Yeah, or something. Yeah.
<laughs> right. Um, there we go. <laughs> wow, I almost feel like I'm on you know, one of those talk shows during the pandemic or something, you know, or one of those late night shows during the pandemic where they didn't have a crowd and so they uh, they did whatever they wanted to with the with the uh, clapping. I'm going to quickly, I know I've only got nine minutes left, but I'm going to quickly change guitars. I'm going to tune this down for a second. Hopefully unplug it without breaking anybody's ears. Oops. That broke my ear right there. Yeah, that wasn't good. <laughs> See, good, broke it, yeah. The microphone's a little too good there. I just bumped into it. That's a pretty microphone. Yeah, it's a really good one. It's a it's an ear trumpet labs microphone. It's called the Edwina, and it's good for solos, solo players, and um, and stuff like that. So let's hope that this will also work with. So this, uh, I'm playing now a, a Weissenborn that was actually made by Herman Weissenborn in 1927. And it's made out of koa. It's lighter than the other one and a lot smaller. And it's tuned higher. It's tuned in some weird tuning that I don't know what the tuning actually is. But anyway, um, so I'm going to sing you this other song. You can find it. See, I have a really bad memory for songs. I cannot remember any songs, uh, even if I wrote them. Just think about what they can get. The rest of us can consider what we should cast aside. Jeffries wrote the lyrics for that one. Um, one more song. 
One more song, okay, sounds good. Um, I don't have to change the tuning, so. But I would like to see if it actually is in tune. And it isn't quite. These old tuners don't hold like modern tuners do. And so it's out of tune. And I guess that was quite an invention when they invented a tuner that would stay in tune, you know, the, the, yeah. the, the gears. That was a good thing, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this song is called White Rock Lake. Oh, great. Three-minute song. Harry lives close to White Rock Lake. Yeah. just walked off. We had him there and then we lost him. <laughs> well, no, Rio, it. get back I'm in. Get run back. On, on my computer to, to turn the news back on. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Rio. Uh, Stephen, that's, I love that. I love that Wiseborn. Yeah. Yeah, they're both really good. So, I'm uh, I'm happy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a... I got stuff that sounds good. Got a great sound to it. Well... I appreciate you guys coming and playing today. It was fun. Y'all did great. And uh, I, wish, I wish TK could have hung out, but isn't she something? TK Brown? Yep, yeah, TK. Yeah. And that, that's her real name, TK Brown. She couldn't have picked a better name, and she couldn't have picked a better city, Gun Barrel City, Texas. <laughs> so, yeah. I, 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 think, I think she's destined to be a, be a star one of these days. Yeah. And we may be too old for it. I don't know. So we're just going to have to enjoy it while we can. You know what I mean? That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's sure. She doesn't need a microphone. I think we can hear her all the way from Gun Barrel City. I'm pretty sure. Oh, she's she's, she's got some. 
did uh, and uh, did y'all en- enjoy it? enjoy the enjoy the thing at the uh, Deep Ellum? Yeah, well, that was fun. Did, did you play there, in Rio? No, I didn't get to. I was uh, actually on that day. I was over in West Virginia. You were invited. Oh, I know, I know. And then we had that. My wife had this invitation to go visit friends over in West Virginia, so we hopped on that. We never had been over there, so. But I stopped at the Sun Studio and ran inside and got me a contract. <laughs> got me a. All I got was the hat back there. Come out in, no. in, Mem- in Memphis. Yeah, in Mem- yeah. I stopped in yeah. Memphis. Ran in this. Elvis. Yeah. Elvis recorded there, I think. The gift yeah. shop. A bunch yeah. of them. Yeah. yeah. Elvis and Roy Orbison and Jerry Lee Lewis and. Man, I wish I had a voice like Roy Orbison. Oh wow! Oh. Don't we? <laughs> or even a voice like Elvis. Either one of them had had just beautiful. Yeah. Well, a lot of them, a lot of them recorded. It. I think even uh, Bob Dylan went back. I mean, like, like more like recently and recorded something there. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. they still take bookings. Uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, who was the other one? Uh, Carl Perkins. Carl Perkins. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Cool. A bunch of, well, well, anyway, okay, guys. Thank you very much, and I guess yep. that's it. So y'all yep. have a good weekend. Thank I'll you, Harry. Anyway, see y'all. See y'all when we see you. That's beautiful guitar music. Well, thank you very much. Very good. Okay, push the little red button. It's over. Thank you, folks. All you folks over <laughs> on uh, Facebook, we appreciate it. And we'll make a video of this and post it. So. Okay. Okay. Adios. <laughs>